So I'm reminded of the Peter and Cornelia story. Peter literally sits on the housetop trying to figure out whether or not to take the next step of obedience. He knew that God had called him to that place to deliver that message at that time. And still he was reluctant to do so. All the while, God had already forewarned Cornelius. He had already planted in his heart what, how to be received by Peter and what Peter was going to say. I think about Ellen and I. I'm worried a little bit about whether or not I have to disclose this grand information or should I give it to him bit by bit. But the truth is, the Lord is already preparing him. And when we reconcile, I think it will be much easier than I'm making it out to be. With that being said, I'm constantly being reminded to live organically. Life is going to happen in its perfect course. And as long as we are being led by the Holy Spirit, he'll make sure that those things that come to trip us up, those stumbling blocks, will not make us crash and burn. I had a conversation with a friend today talking just about the progression of relationships. I said to her, when you ask for something radical because of your own happiness, when you ask for something that to anyone else would be outlandish because it makes you feel good from your partner, there's an agreed upon understanding that they will oblige because that's their compromise to the relationship. However, we can only demand those things from people that understand where we are. This is why I'm always honing in about love language, self-care, and being communicative about what you need in your relationship. Elle and I have been together for many, many years. And so me asking him for a three-month break, essentially, is not a major deal for him because he understands the root and the heart of who I am. If I had just entered into this relationship six months ago and asked for a three-month break, I might be in a very different lane right now having a very different conversation. I'm saying this to say, if you are a single watching this, you have to trust the natural progression of your relationship. And if it's going at a speed that you don't necessarily like, that's something you can communicate. But you also need to know that the other person on the end may not understand that about you yet. Unless you're in a long-term committed relationship, you can't have certain expectations about the way you want to be treated if you do not vocalize it. I say all that to say, authenticity is key in every relationship. Let the natural course of things just happen. We don't have to force them. And if God is sending us somewhere to do something with a certain person at a certain time, trust, you're not the only one that knows. He'll give sign after sign, instruction after instruction, and he'll make your way plain. After all, he's the God of provision. I love you guys so much. God loves you most. Talk soon.